Andrea, you are the director of tourism of Croatia for both Canada and the U.S. Tell me about Croatia. Croatia in general is uh, very old. We've been uh, through through many. Imp- Imp- we've been part of many empires, the Roman Empire, Austro-Hungarian, the Ottoman Empire. Therefore, we have lots of uh, museums, galleries, monuments, some of which are under UNESCO protection. People in the world don't know Croatia as a winemaking uh, country, but Croatia is probably one of the oldest winemaking countries in the world. Part of the wine is also explaining territory, explaining landscapes, explaining the people. We are not using uh, yeasts or uh, some chemical treats to the wine. We just wanted to leave it the way it is. Andrea, I know you're a huge foodie. What are some of the foods that I can't miss when I come to Croatia? Croatia is a great wine and food destination. So uh, when you visit, for example, Slavonia region, uh, you have to try kulen and goulash. For the Istrian region, you have to try truffles and the pasta. And of course, a good wine. They have Malvasia and Tehran. Croatia in the next 10 years will be a good country to visit for their food and for their wine because you have a lot of winery, a lot of good wine to taste and also connected with wine a lot of good food. You've got five, six, seven unique varietals to Croatia. How are you going to get those to marketplace and get them accepted? If we had 3,000 years of time, we have it even more. We will just wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs>